right, Kirk McCullough to talk about the technique and application of using BioVance and Interfill for foot and ankle orthopedic procedures, the reasons why we do it, and the reasons why you should do the same. So why placental products? Well, we know that scarring around the foot and ankle is a known issue. Certainly there are known wound healing issues, not only with lateral hind foot exposures, such as those for calcaneal fractures, anterior exposures, such as those for total ankle arthroplasty or pilon fracture fixation, and certainly posteriorly for Achilles exposures. And the issue we have frequently with chronic tendinopathy is with surgery, how do we functionally regenerate tissue rather than simply replace defects with fibrin-based scar, which is typical for adult healing. Looking at some of the published literature on the use of human amniotic membranes and other placental products, Brian Cole et al. went over some of the great basic science and early results, as well as potential clinical applications for the use of placental products, both in sports medicine and in other techniques. An additional good resource is the overview of the placenta and a clinical sports medicine update in AJSM for applications in orthopedic sports medicine by James Alexander McIntyre et al., which is a good resource as well. Another one from Dr. Stephen Brigido is the use of decellularized human placental and full thickness wound repair and periarticular soft tissue reconstruction and how we have been using some of these techniques, including the BioVance and Interfill in regenerative healing techniques in the foot and ankle. So why is this an issue? Well, the reality is that whether it's Robert Mathis, who had 10 surgical procedures over an eight-month time span, or Ryan Howard with the Philadelphia Phillies, wound healing issues are not simply just a poor health, poor medical access patient issue. So why BioVance and Interfill? The reality is that an intact functional biologic scaffold and extracellular matrix is critical for regeneration and healing versus scar-based repair. And this is true in all tissue types. But therefore, how that tissue processing is done is critical as to whether or not it's going to perform and be utilized as that true scaffold that cells can recognize. So not unlike this construction scaffold on the outside of this home that's used to be able to repair the exterior, although all the components are here, the nature in which those components are presented matter as to how those cells, or in this case, the workers, are able to do their repairs to the house. So once again, similar to this, although all of the scaffolding techniques and the, all of the different components are present, if they're not presented in the right manner and they're all haphazard, such as in this photo, clearly this is not something that will be functional in order to achieve the end result. And so this is why BioVance and Interfill, in our opinion, are critical for this. We remove the cellular components, but yet we retain the biochemical components and preserve that intact matrix that supports regeneration. By removing the cellular components, it minimizes any specific immune response. And by preserving that intact matrix, it minimizes non-specific immune responses that otherwise can occur with other types of allograft tissue. So what makes Interfill unique? It supports healing and functional tissue restoration. It does not contain amnion. And as far as the chorion difference, it's the only connective tissue matrix filler derived exclusively from the chorionic plate where the human umbilical cord enters into the placenta and it's minimally processed and helps retain that fundamental structure, just as we discussed with the scaffold is so critical for cell binding and cell function. Features exclusive to Interfill is that it can be used with acute injuries and or chronic conditions. It's ready to use with, it with room temperature storage, has a 10 year shelf life, and is intended for homologous use because it does not contain amnion and contains only those key components of connective tissue matrix presented in appropriate structure that allows for that important cell binding characteristic. It's available in flowable and particulate forms, as you can see here, for a variety of surgical and non-surgical application needs. So once again, why BioVance and Interfill? Well, we, even though we've theoretically talked about how that scaffold is important for cell binding, are we able to at least demonstrate in a lab-based benchtop model that this actual cell binding occurs that can truly allow for that fetal type regeneration of tissue rather than binding to a fibrin scaffold seen in adult scar-based repair. So if you look at these studies, even just looking at fibroblast and keratinocyte attachment, if you look at the BioVance compared to the dehydrated human amnion chorion membrane, what you can see is that BioVance is a cell-friendly matrix that allows the proliferation of cells critical to wound healing that is not present in that competitive product. Once again, looking at BioVance and Interfill acting as this scaffold, not only is the BioVance study that we saw on the left present as far as cell viability, but you also can see that similar attachment with Interfill. Once again, demonstrating this cell-friendly scaffold and the ability of the cells not only to initially attach, but then to divide and spread and continue their function five days after initial implantation. So what about in vitro studies that indicate interfill support cell function and soft tissue management? Once again, human monocytes on this connective tissue matrix not only show good adherence, but also show good viability even at day three compared to the control tissue culture plastic medium. Thank you very much.